Hi dear children, today we are going to deal with the grammar with the three important portions of the grammar. The first one is articles, second one is pronoun and third one is adverbs. First of all let us go with the deal with the articles. You know when we say articles, the automatically the three Words, letters come to us. First one is A, and and the. These three are words are called articles. Which are the articles? A, and and the are the articles. Then we should know where are the where are the places that we use A, where we can use and, and where we have to use the. First of all, let us see. In English alphabet, there are 26 letters. You know, you have already studied A to Z, A, B, C, D, no, from till Z. So, there are 26 alphabet, there are 26 alphabet, alphabet in English. And out of these 26 letters, 5 letters are known as vowels. You know, they are A, I O U E. They are called vowels. Once again, which are the letters are called vowels? A E I O U are called vowels. And out of 26, 5 are called vowels, and rest of the 21 letters are known as consonants. Consonants. They are uh, means after these vowels, all other letters are consonants. Only A, E, I, O, U. These five letters are known as vowels and other letters are known as consonants. Now you see, when we say A boy, A girl, A house, you see, it is it's a common noun. Common noun, uh, other types of nouns we will learn later. Now you see common noun. Common noun is a we generally the nouns that we talk about uh, talk generally is known as common noun. And see here a boy. How many boys are there? There is only one boy. That is why we, is, uh, we wrote a. Moreover why we use a instead of an because the word boy, it is start with a consonant letter, B, boy. Not only consonant letter and consonant word, consonant letter plus consonant word. See, so that is why we use A in front of boy. And here only you see H, it is also a consonant letter. So that in front of the consonant letter, we use A. And one more thing you have to think, you have to understand that it is singular. It is singular now. Singular and plural, you have learned it. So it is a singular now. When it, if it is not singular, if it is a houses, we should not use A. As it is a singular now, we use A in front of a singular noun. So Whenever you write A and we should understand that we should make sure that they are singular common nouns. Okay, they must be singular common nouns. And of course, they begin with consonant noun, consonant sound, and consonant word. Now let us see and the other article is and. And is also used the words before a vowel sound or a vowel word. Vowel sound or vowel word. And also, this was, as I told you here, the same way, this also must be singular nouns. Here, example is given an apple. Apple. A. A is a vowel. So, in front of a vowel word, we shall write an, an apple. And sometimes 
we should listen carefully how it is pronounced. Apple. A is a vowel sound as well as vowel letter too. Apple. An apple. An egg. A. Egg. Is a vowel word as well as vowel letter. So, so that is why we use the word an. An, an apple, an egg. Be careful that they must be common noun and also it must be singular noun. Now let us see next one. Next article is the. A an the. Next article is the. The is used before only the one thing in the universe. Only one thing in the universe. Just like our sky. There is only one sky. So we have to write the sky. The sky. The moon. There is only one moon. The sun. There is only one sun. So where there is only one in this world. We have to use the in front of such a noun. And also the is used. Before the names of rivers, before the names of mountains, before the names of the holy books, before the names of the historical buildings. For example, the Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal, the name of that building is Taj Mahal. And also it is a historical monument, historical building. That is why we use the. The Himalayas. That is a mountain, only Himalayan mountain, it is the name of the mountains, mountain ranges. Himalaya, the Himalayas. And also the Bible, you know, Bible is the holy book of Christians. So, in front of the Bible, we have to use the, the Bible. The next portion is pronoun. So, what is a pronoun? Pronoun is a word that is used instead of a noun. Or in place of a noun. A word that is used instead of a noun. We will see there are many pronouns. Pronouns like I, you, he, she, it. They are singular pronouns. They are singular pronouns. And they are only one. That means singular. One. Here, we, you, they, they are plural pronouns. That means more than one person or thing, whatever maybe it is. They are called plural pronouns. Suppose when we say that Radu is a good boy, Sita, is, Sita sings very beautifully. The word Raju, the word Sita, they are actually nouns. They are actually nouns. So, if we say uh, he instead of Raju, he instead of a Raju, instead of Raju, so the word he is pronoun. We use instead of Raju. So, Raju is noun. The word used he is pronoun. Okay. Now, you see, we use, there are many pronouns. See what is the name? I, you, he, she, it. They are singular pronouns. And we, you, they, they are plural pronouns. That means showing more than one person. So what is a pronoun? Pronoun is a word that is used instead of a noun. Now see, you might have heard, a, a is a. A is A. They are auxiliary verbs. They are the primary verbs and also they are auxiliary verbs too. See, when we use A, where, where we have to use A? We have to use A with I. With only the subject I or the noun I. For example, I am a boy. I am a boy. So the A is used only along with the I. The subject I. If you think instead of this I, if it was subject he, he am. Will we say he am? No, we will not say. We will say am only along with the I. 
I am a boy. I am a boy. Then where we have to use is? We have to use is with he. He is jumping. With he, she. She is singing. With it. It is raining. So is is used with he, she, it. You should understand that all these nouns are, all these pronouns are singular pronouns. All these pronouns are singular pronouns. So along with these singular pronouns, which we, what, which auxiliary verb is using? Is. Then, we use are with you. You are a boy. With we, we are happy. With they, they are running. See, all these pronouns are plural pronouns. All these pronouns are plural pronoun. So, they are, these plural pronouns take the auxiliary verb R. So, where we are to use R? Along with I only. Where we are to use, where we are to use is with the singular noun, with singular pronouns only. Where we are to use R? With the plural pronouns only. So, and also, he, the word, the pronoun he is meant for boys or men or masculine gender. He, she is meant for, is used for a girl or woman or a feminine gender. And it is used for maybe animals, maybe for a place, maybe for a thing, etc. It is raining or uh, any place or any animals or any things to mention, we are using it. Now we can see some singular pronouns and plural pronouns. Singular pronoun is uh, I or me. What is the plural of I? Plural, we. What is the uh, plural of me? Us. Here you. You, the word you is used in both singular as well and plural as well. Singular and plural as well. So you as according to the context, according to the situation, we should understand that whether this you is used with a singular noun or plural noun. Anyway, you will take plural auxiliary verb that is R. Then another singular pronoun is he. Uh, what is the plural of he? They. Uh, what is the plural of him? Them. See singular uh, pronoun she. What is the plural of she? They. And her is an object, is a singular. What is our plural of uh, her? It is them. Then next one is it. What is the plural of it? They. So the next portion is adverb. What is an adverb? Adverb is a word used how an action is done. Adverb always tell us how an action is done. Or it describe the verb. Add verb. Verb. Add verb. Describe or say something about the verb. We example is it. Raju walks slowly. Raju is a noun. Walks. It is verb. Chukli. It is add verb. How Raju walks. How Raju walks. Raju works slowly. Raju works slowly. So the word slowly describes or tells us how Raju works. The slowly. So the word slowly it describes the word works so that the word slowly is known as our verb. The second example we shall see. Leela runs quickly. Leela runs Chukili. How does Leela run? Chukili. So the word Chukili tells us how Leela runs. How Leela runs? Chukili. So the word Chukili is an odd verb. So the words like Chukili, words like slowly, fastly, uh, yeah, tastily. So all these words are known as adverbs. What is adverb? Adverb is a word 
that describe a verb or that shows how an action is done. So, along with the adjectives, along with the adjectives, when we add ly, slow is adjective. When we add ly, we can say, we can say it is odd verb. It is odd verb. Slow is adjective and when we add ly to slow, it becomes odd verb. So, what is an odd verb? Odd verb is a word that describes a verb. That describes a verb. So, now you have to go through all the three portions uh, today itself and tomorrow I will give you the notes uh, of this article of the pronoun and also add more. So, before getting the notes, also you try yourself to fill out fill in the blanks in the test books what is given the exercises. Please do it and go through the video once again. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.